The upcoming Olympics will bring thousands of athletes and tourists to Canada. But the games are also expected to attract many in the sex trades who will get to British Columbia on I-5 through Western Washington. South Bureau Chief Drew Mickelson found out what lawmakers want to do about that. Drew. Well, Dennis, for the prostitutes who are forced to work up in Canada, a stop at one of our restrooms at a rest stop might be the only chance they have to get away from their pimps. So lawmakers today talked about putting signs like this up here in the restrooms. There's a hotline here. They'd like the women to try to call this number or to get someone to call it for them. But advocates told us today that this is a problem that will be a lo around a lot longer than just the Olympic Games. Um, when I turned 12 years old, I started street prostitution. Human trafficking has been called the fastest growing crime in the world. Now, if you want something really young, that 200, I cost, it just cost a little more than that. Sure, sure. Right. Shared Hope International says thousands of women and teenagers are moved, traded, and sold around the country as sex slaves. I had no idea that I was in danger. Um, Brianna was almost a victim. The 18 year old told state senators today how just last month two men coerced her into working for them for free. I ended up in a strip club for two days because I said yes. I made a decision that could have cost me my freedom and potentially my life. Brianna says thanks to a friend who knew a police officer, she was rescued. She testified in favor of a bill today to allow signs like these to be placed at highway rest stops. Advocates say the signs would give prostitutes heading unwillingly to the Vancouver Olympics a place to turn for help while also educating the public that there is a problem. If good people know, they intervene. If good people know, policymakers make law changes. The rest stop signs won't stop the sex trade, but Brianna is supporting anything that raises awareness about an issue she recently knew nothing about. It was just very scary knowing that that was going to happen to me and that, that that's happening to girls right now and that, you know, we're not doing anything about it. That 18-year-old will be back at the Capitol on Friday to testify in favor of another human sex trafficking bill. That one is going to toughen up the laws and penalties for those caught selling or buying sex slaves. Live in Thurston County, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.